What kind of stuff surprises you? Hmm. Well, that's a good one, Heidi. Um, what surprises me? You know, it's like it's getting harder as I get older, right? Because I've accumulated all this information. So it's sort of like you were saying before about building your, you know, it, it's like as you as you load the human computer's mind with new information, it's really easy in the beginning, but there's less and less space. Um, you know, I think what really surprises me more than anything is this, is the technology that we're this time that we're living in. I'm so um, thrilled with all these wonderful events that have occurred in my lifetime. Like, um, you know, I saw this movie called An Introduction to Feedback by the Eames Studio, and it was from like 1957 or something. It's basically the idea of what Uber is or ways you know, that each car is a sensor and they all know where a, a big computer knows where it's going. And then once you get all that information together, you can predict the most direct route to minimize traffic and whatever it took 70 years or something for that to come true. And, um, 50 years for it to, to really happen. And, um, uh, and I, I just, I just love it. And uh, the, the, the feedback system with, with stars for Uber drivers or eBay or whatever, and um, you know, and, and the incredible, um, beautiful domination of nature, and we've created all these amazing things, and we're synthesizing life almost. It seems with artificial, these computers are getting so good. It's almost like artificial intelligence is here. That the singularity is here now, and. Um, but I'm also equally excited to see that all unraveling right now with um, nature finally saying in some way, because all of nature is connected as one symbiotic system saying enough is enough and shutting down our system by targeting white males between 40 and 70 years old, the guys who are in charge and saying enough is enough. We're going to like send out a, 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 a virus to kill those guys. And I'm like smack in the middle of that time. So I'm, it's like, it's coming after me. I don't like that, but I, I like the bigger picture of it. And I, I think it's, it's a, it's wonderful, surprising thing. I mean, it's horrible that it's, it's coming to kill me. And I, that scares the shit out of me. And it's, and I've lost some great people, but, um, and more will, will perish through this, but we have to look at the big picture. That's the natural environment. And like, it's enough that we are saying, fuck the environment. I'm only worried about me and my family. Like, we live in nature. New York City is inside of nature. And we're only seeing it now. I mean, you can watch movies like Last Man on Earth or Omega Man or I Am Legend. They're all the same movie about human beings living in cities without civilization. But uh, we're all living it now. And I think this is a huge wake-up call. Um, and it's, it's shocking but what a wonderful opportunity for us to say, hey, you know, we can, we can, we can have nature, we can have industry, but let's just like fucking chill for a second, guys, and, and do a, do maybe like a little bit better job of managing our resources. Mm -hmm.